This DVD drive is a bastard. Like, I don't get it. It burns and reads DVDs just fine. But when you put a DVD in, or a CD or a DVD in there, just leave it in there for a while, um, it'll do this. It'll just, the reading light will stay, the busy light will stay mashed like that. It's not now, but normally it just, the disc just all of a sudden just randomly spins up and just goes And when I'm doing nothing on the computer, nothing that would access the DVD drive, it's, it's like the drive is just, just derping. And I can't understand why. I don't know if that's something wrong with the, with, I don't know if that's just weird quirks with the actual motherboard. Or if that's this drive, the board inside this drive going bad. This is a light-on DVD drive, and I've had some bad light-ons in the past, so I don't know what the hell is going on here. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? Because, I mean, the drive works fine. The belt's not bad or anything. The belt's usually what goes on the other ones. And of course there it pops up on the screen as soon as the light bounce comes back. See? Pops up. Let's just open it and view the files. There's a bunch of Linux crap on here. Let's close it. It's still reading the drive and it's not doing anything. Like, what the hell is this crap? This drive is just fucked up. And I cannot, for the life of me, understand why. Whenever I leave a disc in there, it just does weird shit. I'm probably gonna get a new drive. Probably one of these. Now, I know LG is not that much better and sometimes worse than light on is with their drives but I get an LG drive and maybe that'll solve my problems I don't know and plus this is also a SATA burner and SATA burners have been really unreliable in my experiences with them so I'm gonna buy an IDE one and use an IDE one because I've never had an issue with an IDE drive an IDE DVD burner at least the only point in having a SATA DVD burner is for Blu-ray, and this does not do Blu-ray. So, fuck it. Looks like I won't be buying light-on light on SATA drives anymore. Fail. The drive's doing a thing where it's revved up again. Listen to it. It's doing this for no apparent reason. This DVD drive is just a, such a pile of crap. Wow. So, I'm going to remove it. Of course, I have to install updates and then shut down my computer. Meh. I'm going to replace it with this drive, which I've put a new belt in. This other light on drive. This one I know works. It's from 2006. I used it. I was using it before until uh, I came across a bad DVD RW and I thought it was my drive, so. Of course, now it's shutting down. Bad DVD drives. Happy days. Derp. Okay. Alright. Let's get this pile of crap out of here. There it is. This thing's nice and toasty, too. Yeah, this was made in Taiwan. Surprisingly, it wasn't made in China. Okay. See, look, 2009. This thing's about two years old. Well, a little over a year, actually. But, still, avoid this model. The iHaz 32498. Why? 
It sucks. Fuck this shit. Meh. Let's put in a drive that does work, hopefully. A good old IDE optical drive, because having SATA on optical drives is pointless unless you're doing Blu-ray work. It just eats up a fucking... It just eats up a SATA port. That's what it does. So... I need to get an IDE cable. Alright. I believe this is the IDE cable that went with the board, too. So, let's... Uh, yeah, it is. Green to green. Switch the power supply off for now. Let's not burn anything else up. Alright. IDE cable. It's usually right by the ATX power connector. On the ES2Ls. Excuse me for a second. Getting the IE connector in there is a bastard sometimes. Okay. Snake the ribbon cable through everything else. Meh. Get ID in there for you. Whoa. Derp. Just get it tight in there. Alright, get back in there. Slap. There, now it shouldn't do that anymore. Getting the ID cables in is a little annoying sometimes. It takes a little bit of oomph. <laughs> so, expect to put forth a little oomph. Alright, stick a Molex connector into there. And we should have ourselves a DVD drive. Hopefully this one doesn't act like a prick. We'll find out. Alright, let's power her on. Look at that, 8800 GT is loud. Yep, I heard that one. But this fan's not spinning for whatever reason. Balls! This is why cable management's important. And I don't do cable management, because there's just no way to manage cables in this tiny of a case, so... Excuse me as I... Get damn cables out of the way. Not get in the way of the van this time. Okay. Again. There we go. This drive makes funny noises, but it works. As far as I can tell. My good old ES2L board. Start Windows and see if it recognizes it. Hard drive light clicking away. Well, mashing away, I should say. This setup's a little, uh, <laughs> pulled together. At least now it is anyway. I've got this drive that I pulled out of the machine. I got a uh, recertified 500 gig Western Digital Caviar Blue. And Caviar Blues aren't the best drives in the world. The boards go bad on them a lot. Case I bought. Random fans from random cases. As you can see, I got one big fan and one smaller fan. <laughs> and of course, I have a big fan in the back, though. So. Yeah. And of course, one of the ultra power supplies. So. Eh. Let's log in the windows and, uh,. See if it picks it up. It should nag me down here someplace. So, yeah. Or not. I don't know. Let's see if it picked up the DVD drive at all. It did. Let's stick a disc in and find out. Oh, come on. 
really. These belts suck. See? I can't win. Here's another DVD drive. Good board, bad belt. Good belt, bad board. Can I not win with these fucking things? Apparently not. So what am I going to do? I'm probably going to buy an LG. An LG drive or something. I've seen Max Arcade use them a couple of times and they seem to work fine, so... I'll buy one. I'll take a gamble on that. I've bought light on drives for a long ass time. I've bought Sony OptiArc drives that my friends tell me are trash, but they work, amazingly enough. So, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Yeah. These things are bastards. So, here we, there you have it. These belt problems with light-on drives need, are just ridiculous. Let me just exercise it a couple of times. Okay. Yeah, when you exercise them, they work. I don't get that. These drives are just freaking wonky. I mean, I have a Dell over here that's like seven years old, and both the drives still work just fine. <sighs> Ridiculous. The way they make shit today is just crap. I miss the stuff from the 90s that worked perfectly. <laughs> I'd be tempted to get a Pioneer drive, but they're expensive. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> then again, that belt's working now, so I don't know. I just don't know. Let's put a let's put a disc in and just test the drive, like I was gonna do before. See if it picks up the Linux disc this time. Let's see if it does the same thing as the other drive did. Yep, it, it picked up the thing, and the drive is not just constantly on. So, yeah, that drive is a pile of shit, and it doesn't work. And light on should be, like, you know, beaten, castrated, punished for allowing shit like this to come out of the factory. I don't particularly like it when shit dies on me, but who does, so, you know. Either way, I think I'll be getting either an LG, a Samsung, something else besides light on. I mean, this drive works, so I could just put a good belt in it and see if I can get coax this one to working. <sighs> Other than that, yeah. Have a good one, everybody. Ciao.